Jenny talking, um, and t Anna, my stepmom, will be reading. Papa, please get the moon for me by Eric Carle. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reach for it. You think you can reach for the moon where you're at? Can you reach for the moon? <laughs> but no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. Papa got a very long ladder. That's a long ladder. Sure is. If you could climb that long ladder without getting exhausted, I'd get exhausted. I would too, I think. I don't even, I don't know if I could. He carried the very long ladder toward a very high mountain. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very tall mountain. Can you see Papa on the ladder? Right there. He's a little small and you might not be able to see him, but he's there. Up and up and up he climbed. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I will get smaller and smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, you can take me with you. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. There he is with the moon in his hand. There he is. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it into the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally it disappeared altogether. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. Each night the moon grew. And grew and grew. Mm-hmm. And there it is again, a full moon. The end. The end. And Jenny and I just want to wish you guys a very good night and we hope you sleep tight. Good night. Bye.